Aloha. I just want to make a quick video sharing something that I wrote down earlier and to quickly just run through it. Uh, it was basically <clears throat> sharing the observation of how there's this bad guy out there in the mainstream consciousness that I've been saying needs to be amplified in order to amplify subconsciously and consciously in the people without them even knowing it the idea of the superhero because if you amplify the villain without actual storylines then you can have superheroes that don't have real superpowers so because they they have all of these storylines which is this awareness of something but they don't have any kinetic energy to activate uh, their whatever kind of involvement with those uh, stories so they are aware of what's going on but they remain in the system of externalizing their power uh, on some other kind of boogeyman that yeah it makes them the superhero because they've realized the all-powerful giant boogeyman that are out there but does it really do anything for the empowerment of the individual? Of course not. So this is the ultimate benefit for the system because you have people who think that they are free, think that they are revolting, think that they are in a space of um, higher than the system because the system is uh, just obvious with its, its ridiculousness, but uh, the system is also the bad guy. So in the movies, which have also been manipulated for you to think a certain way, the bad guy is the bad guy and the good guy is the good guy and the good guy always wins. So the good guy is uh, the superhero. And it, as long as you're the good guy, you, you're in a space of winning, just like you think you're in a space of freedom right now. Uh, so the system only the only thing the system needs to do is to con continue to amplify the idea of the villain and then it will inherently amplify the idea of the superhero. Uh so this is why you have people who affect people on the larger scale. So what are people broken down easily? Okay, you got race, you got uh religion, uh certain areas where people live, nations, uh, you have thought processes, you now have communities or groups where people think that they're like uh, part of like the flat earth community or a conscious community, all this new age community, all this stuff that means a certain thing. Uh, and then, you know, people like Owen Benjamin create other worlds where like they, they, um, they call themselves the bears. So this is what it, this is what people are missing. People are missing the camaraderie. They're missing the connection. They're missing the ability to um, commune between each other uh, without to commune to commune between uh, between each other on a space of uh, awareness that's that's central to them. Like there's no there's no kind of see e e talking about anything that is uh, natural to you or is. Um, specific to you and like your family members in this new age of consciousness where everything has got to be human and all the same and all the bad guys are the same and we're all in the, in, in the same thing like you just even um, you just even celebrating yourself as an inherent threat to other people who don't know themselves you just knowing yourself is a threat to somebody who doesn't know themselves so this is what's happening today when you start to discover all of the the beauty uh, in the diversity of what we are and who we are and who our ancestors were. Uh, and it's threatening to people who are in the space of the new age um, thought process. So you have uh, people who are in the new age space from a spiritual perspective. Then you have people who are in a new age space from a political perspective. So you have the political perspective where you have all these these people who are, you know, running around talking about this is the Illuminati. These are the bad guys. It's the Freemasons. And then you got other people saying it's the Jews. So this is what I was thinking. It, it, it's this is how it's broken down 
uh, with race and, and, you know, people have been spaced out into uh, black and white. And then you have people saying, oh, that's not, you know, worth, you know, paying attention to or looking into or dealing with or handling. There's no power in that, people say. They say, oh, well, let's just, you know, continue on our days calling ourselves black, calling ourselves white. And then, you know, uh, you know, continually using our, our slave names. Let's not look at all this stuff. Let's focus on, you know, what is what is what is out there be getting a lot of attention on the Internet or on the main streams or whatever. Uh, so this is why I'm kind of pulling back from the Internet now, is because uh, it, it seems like it's going to be a while before that that momentum on that freeway of distraction you know first it slows down then people start to reorganize and figure out where their energy needs to be directed because right now people are really just celebrating and amplifying their particular cubby holes and not really addressing the system itself so like i said with the bad guys um yeah okay yeah celebrate that you realize that there are bad guys out there but okay now what see a lot of people who come onto the channel on, on this channel I was just talking to some somebody who said they've been looking at these videos for a while and then there's there's a series of videos there's a trend there's like a style of how these videos are being shared like a, a rhythm uh, and I'll, some people don't get that rhythm they don't see how these videos connect to each other uh in that so some people do but a lot of people uh, some people don't when they don't they think it's just some random thing um and then they get in their feelings and, and start, you know, commenting and all this other stuff. Just ridiculous shit. Like this isn't just information like like sharing, like like handing out pencils at school or something. This, this ain't no little ass shit. This is a fucking like the, every little thing has some like real, real deep thing. So so if there's a little like a, a 10 minute video talking about like the 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 love, like the self love that is lacking in an entire you know, groups of people around the world, like billions of people, like brown and black and brown people around the world have a lacking of love where so-called white people who affiliate with white have an over, they, they have an overabundance of so-called love. Um, and both of it's fake. So we have a fake hatred of ourselves because we don't know ourselves. That's why it's fake. Just as so-called white people have a fake uh, love of themselves, uh, but it's not themselves. It's the result of the white supremacist version of themselves having created this thing called a so-called civilization uh, under the rule of racism, white supremacy, and colonialism. Uh, but even the truth of that in the so-called truth community is taboo. So you have into, this is, this is the, the, the insanity of it all. You have a, an entire group of people calling themselves a truth community affiliating with this term and hashtag called truther and all this shit. Uh, researching conspiracy theories and things that are very deep in nature uh, but it, uh, and just supposed to be open to truth and all this other stuff but there are truths in the so-called truth community you can't talk about because th they have an agenda to push behind whatever they call truth so it's not a truth community it's a it's agenda communities so you see like uh, in the flat earth community you got the Christians pushing flat earth. Do they really give a shit more about flat earth or do they get care about their connection to their Christian beliefs? Of course, it's their Christian beliefs. So their flat earth bullshit is for the their Christian. They're pushing flat earth for what? Because their end game is to get you to go back to Christianity. I don't give a fuck about whatever else they say about you. That's their end game. Uh, same thing goes for all these mainstreamer flat earthers that are out there. They're telling you, oh, yeah, um... Uh, flat Earth, it's flat and that's that. Flat Earth can save everything. Let's just go to a convention. Let's get people numbers and all that other stuff. For what? And you see their end game is that as numbers raise up in the idea of people knowing about Flat Earth, then the numbers will reflect some kind of uh, utopian conscious changeover or something. No, that's not going to do nothing for this, anything for the system. If anything, they're trying to fix the system. So you have people who are trying to channel your energy into religious systems, which is like the mainstream religious Christians that are out there, and they're trying to hide it behind all the other like stories that are out there, um, as if that's you know secondary. Oh, we're keeping this secondary. No, when it comes down to it, you um, d really don't give a fuck about other people if they are not about your your Christ, your your uh, your Jesus Christ shit, and your um, your religious whatever kind of religion you're pushing. They just won't even, they don't just want even affiliate with you at all. 
same thing goes for people who are like, oh, if you ain't talking about like Jews and all that other stuff, then you're not, you're not a bear crew. You're not, you're not part of the bear pack, all this shit. And then you got people talking about, oh yeah, we talking about Freemasons and all this other stuff. Yeah. Okay. Freemasons. Yeah. They're involved, but th you see what I'm saying? All these different types of groups of that are part of a bigger mind manipulation movement. And that's what I'm saying. The scapegoats for so-called black people are the Freemasons, while the scapegoats for the so-called white people are the Jew-ish people. Uh, and they're both involved in the same thing. All the Freemason stuff in the Hollywood and the Jewish-ish stuff in the Hollywood. It's all the same program. So this is the design of the whole internet, social media consciousness involved with conspiracy theories and so-called truth and all that other stuff. It's designed to focus your attention on the subjects, not on, on the subjects of the, uh, the subcategories of the larger uh, main category in order to consume you in that busy work to consume your time and your energy and your focus. Because that's all that adding up is adding up to the experience overall. If, if you don't have any time, energy, or focus, then you're not really involved consciously or any kind of way with this experience. It's been given away. So <clears throat> has everything that comes from Freemason totally, you know, whatever, like anti, whatever, whatever you want to label it as? Of course not. There are good things that are coming out of like in like in the university system, for example. Um, like the, obviously the basic math and science and like that's useful obviously don't be like childish or so ridiculously um, so this is not what's being said but that's what gets utilized as a like an argumentative um, tool or weapon when the discussion uh, doesn't go their way so like uh, when somebody said uh, Oh, just blame when I when I'm sharing a series of videos that are directed towards so-called black people about like uh, realizing like going to the depths of um, you know unveiling a lot of this information uh, for our own benefit. You have a so-called white person who has to they have they have the authority on what is going on. So they, they, it, there's this fire inside of them that says you know like their authority of the information is more is more relevant than yours. Uh, so when you share a series of information that's directed towards your people and information that's, uh, it's only directed to, it doesn't mean it's only for, because everybody can learn from it, but it's directed for a certain kind of thought process where meaning if you were, uh, had any sense of humility in any kind of way, you would realize and take a breath and realize, oh yeah, this might not be for me. Maybe I just won't comment. Maybe I just won't, maybe I'm missing something here. The, uh, but no, the authority, the arrogance that comes with a lot of people who have this social media truth bug inside of them now. Now they're just like, oh, yeah, if anybody's talking about anything, they have to automatically give the answer. And what are the preposition answers out there? The Jews did it or the Freemasons did it or aliens did it or uh, the the. Uh, the Anunnaki did it or, you know, the Illuminati did it. You see how this blame games out there. And what happens is people are so consumed by blaming and, and you know, finding the answers for whatever the discussion is, uh, because that's what it, people have turned into Google brains. You just need a Google answer for everything now. And so it's not about the answer. It's not about the destination. It's about how this shit got to this. It's about the journey. It's about all this shit that got here a certain way learn uh, you know uh, just f yelling about how things are right now is not is is not beneficial to the healing of the way we got here this is what's happening right now and then when you talk about the way we got here people are yelling oh well what are you talking about you're you're behind you why aren't you talking about the jews or why aren't you talking about this is obviously the answer no see this is the uh, it's the obviously the answer for you because your limited frame of expansion needs answers to fill the little addictive process truth process that you have going on in your inner systems they ain't got nothing to do with anybody else but since people are so entitled and so in that arrogant space of thinking that they know what's going on on they they will instantaneously what happens a lot on the internet is they turn into the victim 
because there's nowhere else to go. Oh, I'm just trying to help the situation. I bring this information, this, this secret information that nobody knows about. <laughs> the Ashkenazi Jews did it. Like nobody knows about it. I'm asked adding to the discussion. You see how that, that arrogance is in there? It's like, no, first of all, you have, you think you have this authority that you're addressing or adding to this discussion. You're not. You're taking away from this discussion because you haven't hum humbled yourself to realize that you didn't completely understand the discussion in the first place. 